breaking news, guys. Surprisers. Sanusi speaks against Tunubu, makes one shocking demand. And these demands have generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. As we progress, you will understand what Nigerians have said concerning his demand. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Sanusi Lemedo Sanusi is the former CBN governor. He said President Bola Tinubu should desist from making himself the Minister of Petroleum. The former Emir of Kano, who had earlier commended the president's economic policy, demanded that the NNP, NNPC Limited should be properly audited for serious reform. According to the Grand Afila of the of the Tijaniya group, there is no need to review the CBN Act to free the Apis Bank of political influence. Sanusi speaks who should be Minister of Petroleum. Sanusi urges the National Assembly to dump review of CBM Act. Nigerians have reacted. Mr. Sanusi, you show tribalism here. When your Buhari was then the petroleum minister, no one here you say anything. No. Tinubu is consolidating on Buhari's failed strategies. The National Assembly have not disappointed us by being the 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 lucky of the executive. People should be pu should be pushing, please from a strong political party to enable you accomplish your missions. Honestly, you are always outspoken and you say things the way it is, sir. God bless you for speaking for the masses. Even though the observation was a bit late and makes it look like you don't know that Buari did the same thing, the, the earlier the, the is better is really appealed the way APC government has turned this country. Hmm. Point of reasoning. Did you say cloned Buhari like that? You Sanusi cloned Buhari. Okay, these are reactions from Nigeria and so. Hmm. I expected you to advise him to remove Kiari and then audit the company. Buhari hurriedly turned NNPC to a public liability company and still left Kiari in charge for a reason. Focusless government. Why did you say the same? Why did you not say the same to Buhari when he was the president and hold that position? Hypocrites. Well, these are reactions from Nigerians. So. But I don't see any reason why people are asking him when Buhari was there, you not talk. Now, now he won't talk. And so, if he did not talk during Buhari's time, and he now see that if he didn't talk this one again, everything will collapse. If he speaks, what was the, what's, what's, what's the issue here? We keep on allowing this tribalism and all that to eat us up. You not talk yesterday, so that means don't talk today. And we are falling inside the ditch. It doesn't matter because the person did not speak yesterday. The same thing they are doing to the former president of Nigeria, Obasanjo. When he talk about restructuring, they go say when you when then you will you 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 were once the 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 president of Nigeria. Were you not the president of Nigeria during this also time and time? Why did you not restructure? You should have restructured the country. Why is it that is the is this time now you want to talk about restructuring? Can we even learn sense for goodness' sake? So we cannot take correction. So we cannot make amendment. Because you did not have the foresight yesterday. If you can't get on today, make you not do one because you not do one yesterday. Come on. We have to drop this thing. You know, unless this one Nigeria you people are talking about, there is nothing like one Nigeria. If we are pushing for one goal, 
We should be speaking with one mouth. We should be speaking with one voice. Good and fine. Muhammad Wari was the minister of petroleum or whatever. He do where? How did that one carry Nigeria? Where did he end? Now, this one again, the president, he is now the minister of petroleum or whatever. And you people want, to, want him to go the same way. Why did he say so? And all that. We have to learn sense. So. You see, we keep on deceiving ourselves. These politicians you are fighting for, they don't get any problem. They are 10 generations to come. They don't already mark parts. Good life for them. They don't get problem. Now you, your cloth, they tear for back. Now you, your shoe, they bend for one corner. Now you, they fight. Now you, they kill yourself. Now you, they go, they carry a bus, they snatch bus for them. May they win election. They will give you 20,000 or 50,000. Last, last. Now you, go cry for poverty. We have to learn a lesson. So if at this particular time, we never learn lesson, that means we are not going to learn. I am not justifying the fact that these people, they not try to, because they are the people that are supposed to be speaking out when all these things are happening. But you see, because of tribalism, that is, that is just what is the rule in Nigeria, tribalism and religion, I don't want to talk. May they not talk, say, so they talk against my brother. And for that reason, it will keep short and things, they go bad. And this is just the beginning. Because with what is going on now in Nigeria, we are just entering step one. Before Nigeria go get to step three, step two, maybe they might not be the map of this country found anywhere, God forbid. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, please do not forget to subscribe. Share this video as well. Thank you.